Yep. I'm here. I clicked the button and apparently I didn't click it hard enough or something. I don't know. But thank you. Thank you, Hydro. Let's see. But anyway. Dude, it's so great. He just knocks those attacks right away when he's curled up like that. But yeah, I really wish that Mighty, when you pound the ground with him... Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, that completely didn't go the way that I wanted it to. I wish they made it so that uh, if you pound a spring, it would bounce you up higher. Kind of like... Uh-oh. Knuckles, save me! Ooh. Kind of like what they did with... That stupid spring. Kind of like what they did with Amy Rose in some of the Sonic games. If she hits one of the springs with her hammer, it would send her flying a lot farther. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing too hot. Right. I'll oh, shoot. Oh. All right. We're not going to drown. We're not going to drown. Ooh. But yeah, this is like one of those... One of those characters, kind of like Ray the Squirrel, that I wish they would actually implement in more of the Sonic games. At least the 2D ones, if we get any more decent ones, because he's such a cool character. Really, they have a lot of characters they could put into these games, but... I mean, heck, a lot of people don't like her, but I wouldn't even mind necessarily having Amy in some of them as a playable character. The hammer, though she's not great usually, the hammer is just stupid fun. At least to me it is. Let's grab a lightning shield. I don't know, do we want anything else here? Sure we do. And I can't get what I want. Perfect. I just want to get one ring box. Oh! Right down the middle. Well. That's fine. We don't need it. We don't need Super 4. I'll fight this legit. But, though I think Ray is probably my favorite you know, special character, if you will, that they added to this game. Mighty's not bad. Ray is my favorite, but Mighty is not bad at all. And I find the defensive abilities he has to be pretty darn nice, and they're a little bit you know, you can kind of do a lot of the same thing with Sonic if you're using his Sonic 3 and Knuckles skill that I don't really think most people utilize or understand how to utilize properly. But this, it doesn't require good timing or anything. You just got to be curled up. And even if you're kind of flying through the level, as long as you're balled up, you might, might not get hit by an enemy or... Some kind of attack they're doing. And like that guy there, oh, I guess this is just another way through. I need to go up here. I also like being able to come like straight down on an enemy. Sometimes it's useful. And being able to kill the stuff that's directly near you too when you slam into the ground. That's uh, also okay. So let's go this way. Take the left one, because you usually go right. I like trying different paths. It'll go left. Alright. Oh! See? Like, I was curled up, so the spikes didn't hurt me. And that is absolutely amazing. So helpful in this game to have something like that. Oh, uh, okay. But, it, you know, it's not going to protect you from all enemy damage. 
But spikes alone, you know, that that accounts for a lot of the hits that I get in the game anyway. And of course, it's not going to save you from getting squished. Nothing is. And that's the way I died the most. But... Yeah, having less to worry about. Never bad, but... There you go. This way. Ooh, it put me backwards. Alright. Wish I could just break through the knuckles. Ooh. Nah, he's not gonna. He's not going to obey my will. That's not cool. Just knuckles being knuckles. Bam. We're just making all kinds of chemicals here. Green goo, blue goo. Oh. Also, if you need to counteract the inertia you have for moving, being able to kind of just slam the ground like that and go straight down, again, very helpful. It's a lot of times where that's just a game changer. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, let's try this. All right, we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna do the. I need a blue. Uh, missing something here. Oh, I know what I need to do. Gosh darn it! It's not gonna give me what I want. No, it's not. Uh, I game, like, I was trying to do something and you just completely ruined it. Thanks. Much not appreciated. I suppose maybe I was a little too slow on it. I don't know. Alright. Well, I just won't be so darn fancy. How about that? Eat a nice big combo breakfast there, Robotnik. I really need to get back into Mean Bee Machine or Poyo Poyo Tetris. I really enjoy it. Well, not Tetris, but Poyo Poyo at least. I don't really. I never got into Tetris. It just didn't do it for me. There's Muddy's just like Rrr. He's like kind of spazzing out there too. I don't know if like he's having a seizure or what. He's just kind of tweaking out there. <laughs> I love that lights, camera, action. It's a really cool level. Ooh. I kind of wish we could get a real Sonic 4. Not, uh, the thing that we got, you know, years back that they told us was Sonic 4. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So if I pound those guys, I just go right through all the little bubbles that you'd normally bounce off of and you can just insta-kill them. Oh my god, that's so nice. I've never tried that before. So, that was kind of cool learning that. Yeah, it just kind of goes to show. You can play through a game quite a few times and, you know, think you figured it out, and then there's always more stuff to learn. Alright, let's see. I don't think that's gonna stab me. 
Go through the loop de loop below. Ooh, lightning shield. That's gonna help me stay in super form because it's going to attract all of the rings to me that I go near. And that's like the best combo, being in super and having a lightning shield. Just kind of go through there, bam. Yeah, Mighty and Ray definitely need to be in more Sonic games. This is actually really freaking awesome. Yeah, Mon. Where's the blue one? There we go. Bam. Knuckles just follow me. I think it's kind of cool too that you can have Knuckles as a follower for anyone, even even if you play as Knuckles. But I did try that, and the video where I did that. Uh, that's going to be uploaded to YouTube at some point here in the nearish future. But it actually made it a lot harder because I would forget which Knuckles I was. <laughs> and I got me killed a couple of times. Also, Knuckles jumps significantly lower in this game. Matters quite a bit. Not that he hasn't always, you know, jumped a little bit lower, but seems to be a bit exaggerated in this game compared to some others. At least it seems that way to me. But that's okay, he's gotta have drawbacks too, I guess. Gives you a reason to use his climbing ability. Yes, yeah, so I just face tank missiles. Do you see this hedgehog, or not hedgehog, this armadillo? Just, just stay away from him, he will... It's just scary. Bullets just bounce right off of this guy. There he is, he's flexing for us. He's sitting there like, Oh yeah, I'm a badass. There's a spring ring there. Come on, there we go. I like the, oh no. The thing that takes pictures and hurts you. Oh yes, come here. Boom. Just insta kill, you got crushed. Absolutely crushed. They call him mighty for a reason. Alright. Oh, oh! Almost fell there. Almost. There's a bonus ring. Okay, we're gonna go down here. And then up here. Man. There we go. Uh oh. Almost. I was wondering if I was gonna like fly off the screen there. There are places where you can kind of do that in these games sometimes. I saw somebody do it with uh, Hydro City. There's so many, like, dials and gauges and stuff in the background. So much detail. I mean... Sorry, Robotnik, but we, we're just gonna skip you pretty much. Effectively skip you.
That's great. Mighty. Here's one of my favorite zones. And in Mania, they went and they made it even better. He just kind of does a normal, I guess, uh, animation for climbing on these things. Ray will actually do flips. Hey, what's up, Storm Retro? How you doing? All right, let's jump up here, collect some more rain. Oop. This part always... Always afraid of falling down, even though I normally don't. Oh, no! I felt the burn there, that's for sure. This storm, you play much Sonic Mania? Ooh. 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 Sweet. You can go super, but I think I'll wait. You know why it's one of your favorite Sonic games? That's because you have great taste. Hey, it's true. I don't I don't know how you could You know, if I if I'm going to take a video game recommendation from somebody and they're like, oh yeah, Sonic Mania, that game sucks. Like, it's terrible. I'm just going to be like, okay, your, your opinions are now invalid. <laughs> you know, that's how you... <clears throat> That's a, how you weed out the people. They don't like Sonic Mania. They clearly don't know what they're talking about. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I gotta jump here. Woo! Admittedly, this game, I haven't played it as much as I would like to. Which is why I'm playing it now. I mean, I played through it with all the characters once, but it definitely deserves more playthroughs. And, uh... You know, this might be my second favorite... 2D Sonic game. And the reason why I say second is because my first is without a doubt. Maybe because I grew up with it. But my... First favorite 2D Sonic game, without a doubt, is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And I know, yes, they sold as two different games, but they were actually originally meant to be one game. But Sega was like, guys, we need to make some money, so release something. And they're like, okay, well, we got half the game done, we'll release half of it now and half of it later. And that's exactly what they did. Exactly, conflicts. Like, <clears throat> you know, I bet you, for someone that's trying to, like, become a nuclear physicist or something, that's, like, one of the questions on there. You know, for the job interview, right? What is your opinion on Sonic Mania?
Like, oh, you didn't think it was that good. Mm, well then. <laughs> oh, it absolutely is. And I gotta be honest, like, Sonic 2, it's probably my third favorite one. I played through a lot of Sonic 2. I was really happy when Sonic Origins came out. I played the heck out of that. Absolutely played the heck out of that. And actually, just to kind of challenge my muscle memory, once I played through those games with every character, like I beat that game in like every way possible. But once I beat that game with every character, I decided, okay, let's do mirror mode. And after playing all of those Sonic games in mirror mode, I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and uh, you know, watch some other people play it. Because I like, I really enjoy watching people that are newer to the game play some of these Sonic games because it kind of it takes takes me back to when I didn't understand these games at all and I like to see how they, they kind of figure things out and I'll get your I'll get to your question here in a second conflicts I did see it um, <clears throat> but it was so weird to me seeing Sonic played you know left to right again because I was so used to oh my god I was so used to mirror mode that playing Sonic normally just looked completely wrong. Like it took me it took me a while to kind of readjust again. Because I had just been conditioned to, to, you know, think of Sonic as a right to left kind of game. This game conflicts, yeah, this this game came out. Oh god, I can't remember how like the exact date, but <clears throat> Essentially, Sega had... I think his name's Christopher White. Had. Yeah, Whitehead. Um, <clears throat> kind of do this, and they let him use a lot of the old assets from the previous Sonic games. And him and his, his little studio, they cranked this out, and this is on par with a lot of the Sega Genesis era Sonic games. You know, it's even I would I would even go as far to say that it might even be better than some of them. And there's a lot of fans of this game that would prefer this over any of the Genesis releases. You know, now, again, I don't share that opinion, but I don't blame them for, you know, feeling that way about the game because they did such a darn good job on Mania. They really did. Oh, and then I killed myself. I think you're right. I, I Storm, I think that is... That sounds right to me. I know that the, I know the DLC came out a year later. I know that much. Oh god, did I just fall down? What did I do? How did I do that? I almost never die there. But apparently, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble here today. That's fine. It's not interesting without a little bit of a struggle, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna bounce off of that. Oops. I'm just kinda. Ooh. Boom. Yeah, well, you know. It is what it is. I just gotta get good, right? That's all it is. I don't... I don't mind dying, you know. I don't mind if people know or at least think that I suck. It's perfectly fine. Because no matter what, I'm gonna enjoy this game. <laughs> and that's just all there is to it. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of this. Usually I die from getting squished, so that's like a, it's a little bit of a different way of dying. So I'm kind of more okay with it, I guess. Because <laughs> getting squished just absolutely sucks. 
I found that I did that a lot in Origins, and then I started playing this, and it was happening to me again. I'm like, I don't remember getting squished to death so much. Although I know with Origins, I talked to some, you know, more veteran, you know, well, other veteran Sonic players, I should say, because I'm definitely there. I grew up, I practically was born with the Sega Genesis controller in my hand. Um, but, yeah, they kind of, I guess, ran into the same thing, so I don't know. Either it's a, a difference in how we play the game now, or... The way some of the, the hitbox things work. Okay, I, I'm just gonna go out of here. Come on, go get. There we go. Yeah, you know, it happens, right? Oh my god, I'm, I'm not going to get the last ring I needed. Ouch. I. Dang. I actually really hate that thing. I'd rather just spin dash into old Robotnik. What a shocking experience that was. Oh my god. I can't see you so big, Robotnik. You eat up too much screen real estate, my friend. Oh! Alright, I'm just gonna do this normal. Hey! Time I try to be fancy, it just blows up in my face. Any other time it would work, but it seems like on stream I find a way to goof it up very badly. Alright, there we go. That's okay. We didn't need super for that one. That's not that bad of a boss, usually. Actually, it went a lot smoother than some of my runs when I was super fighting him. Then every once in a while, T, you bounce off of them and you get squished by the spikes because you're over on the side. I've done that one. <laughs> I think that was in my Knuckles run I pulled that off. And I was just like, why you bad, Ice? Why you bad? I call those a, a pro gamer mode. Well, I guess it's gonna take more than that to discourage me. I played, I played the Souls games. I know what it's like to die for, you know, an hour straight. <laughs> okay. That's... I'm so glad Mighty just. Doesn't care about spikes. When he's balled up. Only when he's balled up, though. You get one freebie, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, this isn't the one where that. Okay. One of these, I know the one on the left is the one you want to jump on, but that wasn't this one. Oh, shoot. You know what? No, I was. It was. Oh, my God. I'm misremembering these things. You would think after, like. Having played through the game like four or five times, I'd remember that, but nope. Nope. Definitely bamboozled. Ooh. Let's see. I don't know if I need to go down or up. Oh god, I don't want to get squished. You talking about the boss for the second act or the one for the first act? 
Because I know the second act boss, he's pretty gnarly. Wait a second. I gotta, I gotta break something here. There we go. I don't know how I dodged that saw blade. That's <laughs> okay, I'll run head first into the spikes. It about evens out, right? Oh! Oh my god, I'm all the way back down here. Why? Oh. There we go. Alright. Nah. We had a get good moment there. Hey, what's up, Shattered? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How have you been? I try to catch you when you're streaming. Just doing a little bit of mania here is... Good old mighty the armadillo. Can I just jump up? Yeah, I can. The advantages of being super. Let's do this. Oh, I guess I need to go back down the left. I know they definitely need to have Headcanon Studios make more of these. Oh, wait, that's right. This is the saw. This thing is annoying. Oh, I see. Okay, I wondered where you were, because you kind of... You've been kind of radio silent there. There's about a... Not even quite a handful of, of people I have followed for Sonic. I was like, man, I was actually, I was looking at my list the other day. I'm like, I haven't seen Shattered for a while. Hope he's all right. Casino Night Zone. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. The, the boss, I mean, honestly, it feels good to do that with every boss, but this next one coming up, the ninja dude... <laughs> I definitely, definitely do not feel bad cheesing my way through this. With those evil <laughs> stars from Metropolis Zone that he throws at you and freezing you constantly. Nah. Hey, look, a Robotnik item thing. I wonder what that does. Oh, let's see. I gotta do something here. Oh my god. I don't normally take this path. I'm guessing I just do one of those. Yep, yeah, that is exactly what I do. So close to super. I can practically smell a hey, bonus level. They are. I like I hate those in Metropolis Zone, but I kind of figured out how to deal with them. For the most part, right? And if you're knuckles or tails, you can really cheese them. But i watched so many new people get to Metropolis Zone on Sonic 2, and they just... They could not do it. I've, I, I, I kid you not. You know, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, you know, cast shade on them or anything, but I've seen some people take, like, well over an hour to beat Metropolis Zone because they just had such a hard time with it. And a large portion of it was either killing themselves on the little, like, screw things, or, uh, uh oh, you know, the stupid starfish things. Those things are terrible. They're easily the 
the first thing that comes to mind to me when I think of Metropolis Zone, and also the worst thing <laughs> that comes to mind about Metropolis Zone. Absolutely terrible. Come on, up. But, yeah, no, it's, uh... It's definitely a struggle. I mean, I've even seen a fair number of people rage quit Metropolis Zone. Maybe sitting there playing, and then all of a sudden it's like, yep, the stream ended. They're offline. I'm like, well, I guess I understand. <laughs> you get a lot of times you get that threshold, right, where you're just you're just you've had enough of getting absolutely bitch smacked by the game. You're just like, I gotta walk away before I break stuff and go like angry German kid on my keyboard. Just, that's just it. Why in the shadow and sign? Yeah. Mighty and Ray, they have some really cool animation sprites in this game. Like the little, I guess, handlebars in Flying Battery Zone. Ray just like swings from them with his hands and tail. It's really cool. And the movement animation for Ray, it reminds me of the cape power up from like Super Mario Brothers World. Really awesome. This guy just, he just eats spikes. He doesn't care about spikes. As long as he's balled up. Heck, even some enemy attacks will kind of bounce off. With his little armor he's got going. I hate these things. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. I must admit, of all the old Sonic games, CD is not one I ever really got into, but it's also a very... It's a very different kind of Sonic game. More so back then, just because Sonic wasn't going 50 different directions at once, like some of the 3D Sonic games have. All I know is you're supposed to go kill the robots, and there's like a teleporter, and you go, you go in the, the past and the future, and I don't know. It was too complicated for me. <laughs> I mean, I, I played through it, if you will. I didn't 100% the game or get the good ending or anything, but I played through it once, and I was just like, I don't know if I want to do that one again. But I've talked to people that are like, yeah, Sonic CD was absolutely amazing. And I'm like, well, hey, you know, I'm glad somebody liked it. But that's one, I think, thing that Sonic has as far as appeal that maybe, maybe some fans don't end up liking. It has a very broad appeal because they've done a lot of different things. And even with like the 2D Sonic, Sonic 1 plays way differently than Sonic 2 and 3 does. Sonic 1 feels much more like a platformer. It's a slower game. 2, they kind of up the speed, and even 3, I think, has a good mixture of the two. Yeah, not exactly. It's, it's not really my style either. CD just, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, for those that know me, that might be a little bit surprising to hear, because generally, you know, a lot of these Sonic games, especially in the last, you know, five, ten years, they've gotten a lot of hate from at least part of the, the Sonic fan base, right? 
And a lot of them I didn't mind that much. I remember people hated colors. And I was like, dude, Sonic Colors is kind of fun. I actually find that game really relaxing a lot of times. You know, but... You know, it is what it is. I haven't tried Frontiers yet. I'm waiting for that to go on sale, and I know there were a lot of bugs and stuff with it, too, so I'm kind of waiting, giving them time to... Maybe fix some of those. Maybe they are fixed, even by this point. That is true. There was a lot of... a lot of vertical nature of those. Yeah. No, it... it, it just... it plays very differently. That's... that's the big thing. It plays very differently. And I mean, the way you're supposed to play it, if you're trying to actually get the best ending, beat the game, beat the game, is very different from any other Sonic game, too. But, you know, it does give you variety, and it gives, you know, people something they, you know, might like that wouldn't have been around otherwise if they didn't do it. My understanding with CD2 is the main reason why they did it was they were experimenting with having multiple soundtracks in the same game without, like, having to go to a different loading screen or anything. Which, you know, if that's actually true, I'd say their experiment was pretty successful because they pulled it off. And that game had some really nice soundtracks. I mean, most Sonic games have good music, you know, but... I can't think of one that had, like, just a really terrible track that I'd never want to listen to. From, you know, that I've played, anyway. I haven't played every Sonic game, but I've played a good chunk of them. Good old Metal Sonic. This might get a little sketchy because I don't have a lot of rings, and I'm going to lose my super form. Oops, I jumped too soon! I forget who it was. Somebody did like a triple mashup with all three versions of Stardust Highway. It sounded amazing. That's something I do a lot of times too. I'll look at like remixes for some of the music from the Sonic games. One game I really wish they would re-release, and I don't think we'll ever I I don't think it'll ever see the light of day again, to be entirely honest. But I wouldn't mind seeing them push. Oh! I didn't realize I ran out of rings and I wasn't super anymore. Whoops! Have come in recent years. Yeah. It seemed like the boss fights were definitely the focus of that. I've seen some very mixed... I don't know, I've seen some stuff that kind of gives me mixed feelings about it, but without actually playing the game, obviously, you know, I, I can't have a, a real valid, informed opinion of it, right? I think the thing, though, that I saw that would bother me the most about it is the pop-in that people were showing in some of the, uh, the videos and stuff of the game. Not that it would necessarily make it unplayable, but that would definitely be annoying. For me. I shouldn't have killed him that soon. Oh, that still hit me. Lesson learned. Oh my god. Hey, I actually made that hit him. But someday we'll get Frontiers. I'll give it a, a fair try. But I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I don't normally buy games full price in general.
The patch notes video. Dang. Uh oh. No. Metal Sonic scary. This boss gives me like Sonic Heroes vibes. I want that ring. Oh, I can't pick it up, but then he knocks it away from me. All right. Six minute overview of the patch notes video. Wait, which patch notes video? Maybe I'm having a senior citizen moment here, but I'm drawing a blank. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I... You know, probably again, because... I grew up with Sonic. You know, the, the Sonic games arguably have some of the best, I think, you know, consistently good music for any, any game series. I know, like... Oh no, I forget how to get these piranhas off of me besides just dying, but maybe that's all I can do is die. I guess I have to die. Well, shoot. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. This piranha, man. If I didn't have to breathe that bubble in. Like those things are double-edged swords sometimes. They'll save you or they'll get you killed. Last epochs is sure. You know. But I gotta be honest, Itachi, I you know, again, I'm a nerd, I do nerd things, but you know, I probably wouldn't be listening to the last epoch soundtrack while, you know, driving down the interstate at 80 miles an hour. Whether or not I should be driving at 80 miles an hour on the interstate is a comp completely different question on its own that we won't dive into right now, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, I have, I have so many videos bookmarked and stuff for like uh, fan remixes and everything. It's really, really amazing how many people make those and i mean like you're talking about a game or games right that were around back in the 90s and the sound the games and the soundtrack were so popular that people are still remixing them today now of course yeah they they ported a lot of these games and then you've got origins and you've got Mania. Oh Can I not be bad at this game for a second? Just a second. There we go. But, you know, and that helps... That helps grow more interest in people that may not have seen them. But... It really just kind of shows... How good of a job they do. And again, it's consistent. They do a consistently good job. It's not just like, oh yeah, this Sonic game had a good soundtrack. The other one's kind of blue, but you know, we overlooked those. We pretend it didn't exist. No, it's like they all have some, uh, quite a few bangers. And even the ones that at least maybe I don't find as great, other people will enjoy. Yeah, or at least like they were still really good. I mean, heck, at one point, oh my god, really. You know, they even had Michael Jackson help with some of the soundtrack. <laughs> you know, it's like... That's pretty cool. I, when, I, when I found out about that years later, I thought that was really awesome. Oh, 
I'm on a boat. Metropolis is, you know, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite ones, but as a, as a work of, ooh. but as, you know, composed music, yeah, it's actually really well done, really well done. I think, you know, too, maybe, maybe, yeah, part of my opinion, too, on it might be a little biased against it, too, just because, let's face it, Metropolis Zone sucks. It, it's just, it's a terrible zone, it's punishing, it's, it's like, uh, <laughs> If the creators of Dark Souls made like a Sonic level, right? It just, just absolutely sucks. Every corner there is an exploding starfish that'll kill you, a praying mantis that's going to throw blades at you, um, a crab that shoots an arm at you that you can't quite jump over. <laughs> You know, and various other things that are just going to wreck your day. And make you wonder why you didn't just turn on debug mode. It's like, I like every level, every zone in that game. Even, I even like Winged Fortress. A lot of people don't like Winged Fortress. I love Winged Fortress. But I hate Metropolis Zone with a passion. That zone gives me nightmares. But I was like, no lie, when I was streaming Sonic 2, one of the first things I thought about when I when I was like, okay, I'm gonna stream Sonic 2 is Shit, I gotta play Metropolis Zone. No. <laughs> Come on, Robotnik! Oh, come here! Oh my gosh! Stop dropping bombs! There we go. He just loses his scuba gear for some reason. It explodes. I don't know why. Then he falls into the water. And I can't help but wonder if we just like you know made him drown or at risk of drowning. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. And then there's that one, there's that one part of the level and it almost every time gets me and I've seen a bunch of new people get hit by it too. You know those little like steam piston things you stand on top of and they spring you? I... Is it, is it Act 2 or 3? I can't remember, but there's one of those darn things. And like... Go away, piranha! If you aren't, like, more or less running to the side when it pops up and springs you, you're just gonna eat spikes that are up at the top on the ceiling. Like, there's, there's no way, like, if you're not, if you're not coming at it from, like, a run or something, or you're playing as Tails and, you know, Origins and fly over them. Because he couldn't fly in the original Sonic 2. Um, yeah. Oh my god, no. That was me. It was just, it was just bad. I hate that thing so much. The only thing worse than that, maybe, was in Sonic 2, in Mystic Cave Zone, if they had that one pit that was toward the end of the level, and if you were in super form, you could not get out of that pit until your rings ran out and you died. 
Like, you were stuck. I know, like, people made YouTube videos and stuff making fun of them. Like, there was one I, I really remember. It was, um... Sonic's in super form, and he's playing chess or checkers with Tails as he's waiting for his rings to count down so he can die and respawn and, you know, go back to playing the level. Which is actually really pretty funny. Up we go! Yeah, it was... that was a pretty good video. He said, I can't remember who did it, but... I just need... One more ring. And I got it. Let's grab this dude. No. I'm gonna go super. I just know I'm gonna touch a spike and die, and that's gonna be the end of it. The end boss for this is a little annoying. He's not necessarily super hard, but he is a little. Whoop. Oh, man. Come on. Jump. Well, here we go. Eat that, robot, Nick. Somebody got the Mr. Robot, Nick. Somebody got the Mr. Robot, Nick. Let's see. Poor Knuckles is gonna drown again. Alright, time for the second part. The part is... I don't know. Depending, I guess, on... How you view it, it's either worse or it's better. Oh my god. I actually bounced off of him there. No! Gosh darn it. I was trying to get that spin dash off. I was just a little bit late. Knuckles, quit drowning. There we go. 2D games recently. 3D. Oh, really? I never got to play Sonic 06 because I didn't have one of the consoles that was on. I had a friend that had it, though. And I saw him play a little bit of it. Yeah, buddy. Instead of turtles, they're armadillo things. Let's see. I think... <sighs> hmm. For 2D Sonic... I think Sonic Adventure 2 is probably my favorite one. I like the story for it. But I tend to like darker stories. 
Just like I liked I liked Shadow the Hedgehog too. That was also a really good one, even though it was very different for a Sonic game, and I'm surprised it ever got released. Because, I mean, let's be honest, that game was edgy as all hell. Yo, know, Shadow would swear in it, and you were shooting people. Oh! Super form was too quick for the plane. Oof. Oh, I gotta start over to shoot. But Shadow the Hedgehog was mad fun. <clears throat> if you've never had a chance to play it, you gotta you gotta try to get it on an emulator or something, or at least watch somebody play through it. I actually wouldn't mind emulating it and playing it someday on my my channel here but that wouldn't be for quite some time a lot of what I play is Sonic but I play a lot of older games and I do a little bit of uh, action RPGs I try to not get into too much stuff because then like you know some people are gonna like some stuff and some people aren't going to like others And really, I want most of my content to be, you know, one of one or two games. I don't want to be all over the place. Like, there's a lot of variety streamers, as they're called. They play whatever, anything and everything. And I don't know, maybe it, I would think it'd be a little bit hard to follow because you might like what they're playing for a week or two and then not be interested in you know, something else, but I don't know. But heck, I'm new to Twitch, I still have a lot to learn. New to all of this. Went in fairly blind. <clears throat> Yeah, no, a lot of people didn't like the edginess of Shadow the Hedgehog, for sure. I loved it. It was, it was great. It was Shadow as he should have been. <laughs> as he should be. But, let's see. Ooh, I like these little gun things here. Ooh. But yeah, <clears throat> the reason I actually started doing like Twitch and I have a YouTube channel and I mean, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm proud of it, but it's not anything, uh, nothing that's gonna win me any awards, but yeah, the reason I did this, I didn't even get into this for me. I got into this for somebody else. I have a friend that uh, was really good at Stuff like Dead by Daylight and even, uh, I'm trying to think, some kind of like uh, strategic shooter game. Rainbow Six. And I kept telling him, like, dude, you gotta start, you should stream, like, people would watch you. He's like, nah, I don't know. And, uh, he just wouldn't do it. I'm like, I'll tell you what. I know you can do it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll go and do it, and I'll figure it out. If I can do it, I know you can. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not exactly big or anything, but, again, I learned how stuff works. I, you know, I'm pretty proud of my success I've had so far. It might not be a lot, but, you know, I'm still happy about it. But, unfortunately, I still have not been able to convince him. And I don't know why. I also like how a cork gun just took out the tornado like absolutely that thing might as well have been hit by by like a heat-seeking missile or something makes no sense but you know I mean the last time it got shot down it took lasers to knock that plane down here it just took a little court gun 
Maybe Tails was cutting some corners when uh, he redesigned it. I don't know. You know, being being your, your typical engineer, right? You know, save some money on materials if we do this. And I mean, it, it probably will blow up, but you know, it'll be years from now and we're like retired or dead. So it'll be okay. <laughs> we won't get sued at that. <laughs> oh, man. We're actually talking about that at work today. Funny enough. I like how they they have you ride the bubbles from the the soda. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. Sonic Three the movie. I hope so too. I you know the Sonic movies, I thought they were going to be absolute crap. Especially, like, with all the debacle of how they made Sonic look originally. He looked ugly as all hell. Uh, it was just, it was terrible, right? But, uh... They surprised me. It was actually very enjoy. The first two so far have been very enjoyable to watch. And... I think I I think they're gonna do them. I think they're gonna do them right. Personally, you know I wasn't even disappointed with how they did Knuckles in the second one, and I wasn't sure what they were gonna go for. Is he gonna be like a big dumb, you know, stupid dude with muscles, or you know, like how how are they gonna do it? Because like Knuckles has taken on many different forms in his existence, right? A lot of times anymore, now he's like the comic relief. Especially if you've watched like the Sonic Boom cartoon. And for as weird as that whole thing was, I actually enjoyed Sonic Boom. I did not think I would. And then, was it last year? I was like, you know what? I, I want to see something. I, I, I want to watch something. Sonic the Hedgehog, and I was like, okay, I never watched this, I'm gonna watch it. And I actually really enjoyed it. It's, I was, it was actually a shame that uh, they didn't do another season for it. But the boom stuff, I don't... <laughs> you know, it just did not really... I don't think they marketed it very well. And... Having Sonic characters just covered in bandages, like they just got their ass kicked in like their last fight against Robotnik, you know, it didn't really sit well with a lot of people. I mean, I get it, it's supposed to be like athletic tape and apparently like it actually gets used for stuff, but it was just kind of ridiculous how they did it. That's just not how a lot of the fans envision those characters being. No, I, 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 they did they did Knuckles very well in that movie. Very well. I absolutely liked it. And that's why I think they're going to do Shadow Justice. I think they are. I mean, we'll wait and see, but... I think whoever, whoever's, you know, writing or directing it, whatever... I think they're going to do it all right. Because if they were going to screw it up, I think they would have screwed it up by now. You know what I mean? And I have to say, too, in my opinion, at least, um, <clears throat> I really... Um, ooh. I really thought the second movie was even, was like a lot better than the first one even. So if what, you know, I see something that looks like improvement from one to the next, that's usually a really, really good sign to me. So. 
I'm not worried about it. I'm very hopeful. I think it's I think it's gonna be great. We'll find out, but I think it's gonna be great. We actually, uh, in my Discord server, we turned it into a a couple of movie nights. We watched the first Sonic, and then a little bit after the the second one came out and everything, we watched it. To, we watched that one together, and everybody loved it. Nobody said they thought it sucked, which is actually kind of interesting because a lot of yeah, a lot of people in there, they're not necessarily Sonic fans. And they even enjoyed it. So... If nothing else, it definitely has broad appeal, which is, you know... Which is good. I mean, he threw a hammer at me and I just bounced it off of me. No super needed for that fight. I don't know if they'll have him use a gun or not. We'll see. Does that mean like Shadow knows like karate or something, you know? He, um... <clears throat> Yeah, he can use, he can use any, it seems like any weapon. S swords, knives, machine guns, rocket launchers. I mean, you know, and then he's got the Chaos Emeralds, right? He's got Chaos Control. Oh my god, why can I not, like... There we go, jeez. Get good, Ice, get good. I mean, like, even with just Chaos Control alone, he could be pretty scary. And he has, like, if you go off of what the Sonic the Hedgehog game has, like, Chaos Burst and some other stuff, too. He just, like, yeah, he just, like, nukes everything. He is the nuke. He doesn't need a nuke. He is the nuke. He kills everything. He is the last one standing. And yeah, I think they kind of did him a little dirty after Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. They kind of... They kind of calmed him down a bit. Maybe for a lack of a better way of putting it, but... You know, and even some of Shadow the Hedgehog, they were kind of... It was a little bit much. But there were some, some funny lines with his uh, memory loss. I think my favorite... My favorite one was, It's all becoming clear to me now. The real Shadow died and I am its copy. You know, he thought he was a clone of himself. It's just like... Absolutely ridiculous. It's like, no, no, you are the original. <laughs> you aren't the clone, Shadow. You've got it back ass word. I need to find one of those vents. Oh my god, there we go. But that game, man, that Shadow the Hedgehog game was so brutal. He took out the head of Gun. He took out Sonic. <laughs> he, just, he killed everybody in that game. I mean, hell, he kills off aliens. Aliens from space. Oh, shoot. There we go, I had to get those. Ah, uh, we'll go down here since there's too much smog. You 
Yeah. And another thing, a lot of people didn't like Sonic Forces. I, you know, I think it had problems. I think most Sonic games have some kind of problem. I think they could have made Infinite a lot better than they did. But, I don't know, they seem... It's like they're very hesitant to make anybody, like, really just... Hardcore evil. They don't want things to get too dark anymore. And that was a pretty dark game. I mean, heck, it's, um... Oh, what's the level? It's like that city thing. And at the beginning of the game... Was it, a was it Amy Rose? She's like, we lost like 70% of our forces or something. It's like, holy shit! <laughs> Like, you lost your army. <laughs> you lost your army. They are gone. <laughs> that is not good. At all. But I think, you know, if some of the writing was a little bit better in Forces, maybe people would have been more okay with it. Some people also didn't like the idea of the Avatar character, which... I guess I get it, but I didn't mind it myself. I thought having the Wisp guns was kind of cool. And it was cool for once, too, seeing, you know... Sonic kind of being down and out and actually needing help. Would it have made more sense for it to be one of his friends or something? Probably, if we're being honest here. But, you know, you get to make your character and, you know, be the, the hero that saves the hero, right? And then teams up with the hero. I also like that the different avatars had their own abilities depending on what, like, what animal it was. That was a nice little touch to the game. I messed that. Oh, I actually got something. Yeah, I, I, I know I wouldn't necessarily mind playing through Forces again. But like I said, I, that's the thing with a lot of the Sonic games. A lot of people, you know, even fans of... I don't know, it's... I think I just broke the game! Oh, there we go. There we go, I finally fell down. <laughs> that was pretty great. Honestly. But... You know, a lot of Sonic fans, they're very, they're very picky. Or so it would seem, right? They, they don't, they're never happy with anything. And, you know, I'm not necessarily like that. That, you know, being said too, I won't just like something because it's Sonic, but I can at least kind of appreciate, you know, the games for what they are. But then again, I also don't go in with any ex expectations either, right? A lot of people probably have expectations of what a Sonic game should be like, or, you know, how a particular game is going to be, and then they're like, This isn't what I expected! How dare you! But, you know, in spite of that, right, they always go out and, you know, buy the next game. <laughs> So are they really unhappy about it? I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to tell, right? Just like all the people that complain about, oh, this Call of Duty is like all the old ones, blah blah blah. And then they go buy it because they they just like it. Yeah. 
not to say that I don't think some things could have been done better with some of these games, but I don't think they were the massive train wreck, let down dumpster fire that, you know, some people try to make them out to be. But hey, maybe I'm the weird one, right? Maybe I'm the weird one. Let's see. But, you know, back on the note of Sonic Forces, I mean, every once in a while, I'll just fire that game up and play. And I'll just nuke everything with the good old black hole wisp gun because that thing is by far the most ridiculous thing ever to me it is anyway this sucks up everything mighty's like what's going on here you gonna, you gonna move Oh no, I took a hit. Sometimes it actually registers a hit and you lose your shield or rings, and then other times it doesn't. We'll just do the animation for it, which is really weird. Here we go. I really, I don't know. Every, it's like every time I play this game, I always comment on the backgrounds, but some of them are just really good. And in this game, they had a lot of detail and I like that you can tell something's obviously being built here. There's, there is stuff going on in this place. This is probably my favorite level in any Sonic game. I really like Lava Reef Zone, but I like the second act. I like the music for it, and I just like the way it looks. It's very cool, you know what I mean? I don't mean cool like, oh yeah, it's awesome. Like, it's just, it's kind of relaxed. But yeah, I think this is this is my favorite zone out of all the Sonic 2D Sonic games. But I do also No, I want that life! There we go. But I do also really enjoy Flying Battery Zone. And I like Mushroom Hill Zone quite a bit. Though. Both level design and the music is pretty awesome. I was actually really happy that the 3DS version of Sonic Origins had Mushroom Hill Zone in it. I was like, yes! And it was awesome because the second act was a bunch of, like, essentially rail grinding and stuff. Really, really loved that game. But my sister, I found out too, was getting into the Sonic the Hedgehog games. And, you know, she didn't have money to you know, buy any of them or anything. So I ended up giving it to her as a gift. So, yeah, I don't have it anymore. I can't play it. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't regret doing it. You know, I know that she's enjoying the game. Or at least she did. I don't know if she still plays it or not. But, you know. That was also many years ago now. Sonic Generations is kind of old. Alright, let's see here. I, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, Shattered, honestly. Come back 
Anytime. I mean, that kind of goes for anyone that stopped in here today. You've all been pretty cool, but, you know, Shatter, you definitely have an invitation. As always. And, you yeah, know, if you stream, I'll definitely stop in and watch. Good to see you again. Uh, I plan on playing through the whole game here, so I will probably will be around for a little bit longer. We're getting toward the end. Not quite there yet. Wish I could break this. Alright. <laughs> Okay. Man, that thing's just cranking out those guys. That's crazy. Jump up here and go to Hidden Palace. This is such a crazy boss. First few times I fought it, I absolutely hated it. I don't mind it so much anymore. I know how to fight it right. It was just really annoying at first, but... And also as mighty, I mean, you can't... It's so hard to screw it up, because even if you touch the little spike ball, you're going to bounce off of it. <laughs> like that. Mighty is just absolutely crazy. Poor Knuckles just getting absolutely destroyed. Can I get him? Up, oh, got him. Come back. Ah. Oh. I barely dodged it. Come on. I just need one more hit on you. Oh. Oh, maybe I need one of them. One hit. There we go. Ah, oh, Knuckles finished them off. Thanks, Knuckles. I knew there was a reason why I brought you along. Sweet. We got through Act 2. We got two more zones. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. There's the old Death Egg. Let's be honest, Darth Vader wishes he had the Death Egg. He wishes he had the Death Egg. I get that shield. Boom. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Eh, I done goofed. That's fine. I think it was kind of cool that they had that these robots that kind of push the spikes around. That was unique. That was a very unique design there. They did a lot of really cool stuff in these last two zones. They Sometimes it's annoying, but they did a lot of really cool creative stuff, like this, for example. Now, did I ever... I, I mean, I know I've talked before about wishing I could, like, you know, kind of free roam and check out some of the areas in the background in these Sonic games. Um, you know, I've said that for years. And this game, they actually gave me that. And then I realized that's not what I wanted. <laughs> not like, not like that anyway. Not like that. Although it's kind of cool that you can still go into the background. Oh, I'm gonna die. Pro gamer moment there, folks. Pro gamer moment. Uh, let's try that again. Get that. Get that in nice shot. Surely I can't mess that up twice in a row, right? Oh, 
I hate those things. Oh my god, that still hit me. Oof. Thank goodness for Mighty's armor. What? What? So, earlier in the stream, I talked about how I'm very good at getting squished, and then, you know, how I wasn't getting squished. Well, now we're making up for, for that. We are making up for it right now. I am going to get turned into a pancake. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Let's give us a... Oh my god. Give us another shot. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, folks. That's... That's the pro gamer play there. Got a lightning shield. All right, let's get out of here. As addicting as that minigame is, I don't want to spend too much time in there. Just believe me when I tell you, I could do those all day. That's about as fun as Space Cadet Pinball on Windows XP. Slam. Slam. Ooh. I think I have to... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bunch of rings. And invincibility stars. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with jelly gasoline. All right. No. That's a big old nope. Oh. Oh. I almost slid off of that. You can tell they must have had a lot of fun designing these levels. Cuz there's no way they did it. Like, someone was just sitting in the office like, Hey, you know what? Look at this! Look at this idea I had! What? You're gonna have them do that? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go super just so I can move faster. Hey, Robotnik. Of course, a revisit of the end boss for Sonic 1 is what that is. Bam. And unlike Sonic 1, there's no safe spot to just kind of run to to not get hit. This isn't that hard of a boss, but I'm not going to lie, this part always worries me when I fly. Because again, I always die from getting squished in these games, and this is nothing but death by squished. There we go. Night, night, Botnik. We're actually making pretty good time. Hour 41 minutes. We only have one and a half zones left. Dang. Yeah, let's take the upper path. I tend to like this one more. Oh no. That's... 
Bam. Oh, I don't want that. Shoot. Well, wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done in my life, but it could have been worse. Yeah, I know there's a life there. I usually go for it and get hurt trying to get it. This time I was like, eh, you know what? That's just not, we're not doing that. Let's see. Honey, I shrunk the armadillo. All right. Ooh, almost guts. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, I see. When I'm over there, I'm not kicking. All right. Whoa, I was inside of that. I thought I was going to die. That scared me. I was actually worried there for a moment. Like, dude, if I die to this, that's gonna be the dumbest death. Yeah. Alright, let's get a shield here real quick. Oh boy. Go, go, go! do one more. Are we going to get any rings here? No, we're not. Alright, well, so much for that. I tried. And that should go right down the middle. Yep. Alright. It's kind of... Oh, no! Hey, that's right, I bounce off of those. <laughs> I love that. That is exactly why Mighty needs to be in more games. Because his damage immunity is legendary. And it totally makes sense that he has. Oh! But you gotta be... Gotta be curled up. Ooh. Come on. I wanna get to this final boss. Yeah. Oh, we're getting shrunk again. Oh no. Oh boy, a Robotnik item box. I like how I went through a laser, but it didn't make me bigger. That's an Amy thing. We're just gonna release all of them. How bad could it actually be? All right, maybe it gets really bad. Hey, look, I got a Robotnik. Bam. There we go. One more zone. One more zone. Man, we blew through that. That was nuts. It's the Egg Gundam! It is, it is, it's the Egg Gundam.
What the heck happened to that item box? That was kind of nuts. Like got partially stuck in the ground and everything. Ooh. Oh, I got shocked. So bad. No, don't shoot me with that thing. Yeah, let's get a shield. I think that is the wise move here. Yeah, water one will do. We'll do one more item. Ooh, you know what? Lightning shield is even better, especially since there's lightning in this. All right. We're just gonna... We're just gonna peace out of there. Don't you try to kill me. Oh, no. No! Don't you dare do the thing you were going to do. <clears throat> I don't know what the point of having a robot that crashes into walls and explodes is. Like, I gotta say, Robotnik has some very questionable design decisions for some of these robots. Especially for a guy with, like, what, 180 IQ or something? He's like stupidly intelligent but then you know I don't know maybe he lied right because <laughs> he gets outsmarted by a hedgehog and his friends and a fox he you know is on par with him I don't know it doesn't bode well for all robotic Bam. Oh, there we go. That's right, I gotta jump. Oh, what? I'm so good at getting squished. I'm, I'm, I'm like a champion of getting squished. Ah, that's so sad. It really is. I die there so often. That's fine. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that's right. We go around this, and we get a crash again. Somehow we... We are unscathed from that crash, but, you know, other things that seem to be probably less dangerous to us will kill us. No, 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 no. Here we go. We'll just kind of do one of those. Hey, I got that life. I always miss it, but that time I didn't. We're gonna take those. Man, it hit that ring box all the way over there. That's pretty awesome. Yes, I have all of the Chaos Emeralds. I didn't start with a brand new playthrough. This is one that I had already... Ooh, oh my god, I almost... Yeah, I guess at least I got a ring box in a life. It kinda... 
That was kind of worth it. Pretty much every save is used, so I just play with the ones I have. Uh... Oh god! Tell you what, that UFO minigame really... Oh boy. This part is a little bit... Oh, that's right. I gotta do that. Bam. By the way, how are you doing, Golsta? The Death Egg Zone Act 1 boss revisited. This thing was always a pain in the butt. It was one of those bosses that I was thankful I had all the emeralds for when I got to it. I actually think it's a little bit easier in this version of the game because the other one had like these spinning platforms around it and it shot a laser and apparently I don't get to have those rings that I just I feel like I just got robbed. I just got robbed out of 10 rings. Man. Oh, well, we'll be fine. Let's see if I mess this one up, I might have to fight this boss without super form. Which if I have to, I mean, it is what it is. Half the time I make it to the end of 50 rings, the other half the time I don't. Oh my god. There we go. And now we get teleported, so I think, yeah, the trick is to do the top first, at least for me, because I find that the bottom ones are usually easier. And bounce off that, bounce off of you. And now we're gonna have a nice crash. <laughs> Alright, that's one down. That one's not too bad, I guess. Let's try this guy. This part of the game, I always have to, like, actually pay attention. Wait a second. No, I'm going up the wrong way. I need to do one of these. That's right. So far, so good. This is going smoother than the last few times I've done this. Surprisingly enough. I don't think I want to go down there. Nope. These little bear dudes from... I am so glad I'm playing as Mighty right now. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Otherwise, that would have not been so good. Ooh. All right. I guess I'm transforming. I'm not gonna get hit and lose these rings. I worked too hard for these rings. You know, so many things would do damage to us, but crashing into a wall uh, apparently doesn't doesn't hurt. I'm not gonna try to make sense of that. It is not. Yeah, let's grab these rings. Why not? And I'll grab one more goodie from here and then piece out of this bonus level unless I screw up and lose before that. Nope. Would have preferred a lightning shield, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Man, I was hoping to beat this in under two hours. It looks like I'm going to be a little bit over that. Not much, though. Oh my gosh, I don't want up here. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna like float there. Darn it! Touch the lightning. Why did it? This is such a crazy level, the way it's designed. It's cool, though. It's a very cool level, really cool zone in general. But I feel like they just told whoever was designing it, just, just go crazy. And then they took it literally. Trying to. I don't remember if I need to. Oh my gosh. That's not it. There we go. Couldn't remember what side it was. Oh, I gotta be careful here. This is where I messed up a few times yesterday. Probably should have gone in there and turned off my super form, but... You know, that would have been the wise thing to do. That would have been the wise thing to do. Okay, I guess I don't get a big Shoot. I didn't want to do that. Slam dunk. All right. Let's go through the portal and fight this boss that hopefully I can beat before I run out of rings. I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Though. If not, we'll just fight him the good old fashioned way that sucks. Well, yeah, true enough. I, it probably does really apply to the whole game in general. They're just like, have, have at it. Do whatever you want. Be creative as possible. But, you know, just the way that level's designed, right? It's just, it's so crazy. It's fun, but it's very crazy the way it's designed.
All right, let's take out that guy. All right, Robotnik, you need to hurry up. I got about 20 seconds to beat you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop jumping. Oh my god, we did it. Whew, that was cutting it close. Oh no, the place is gonna blow up. But yeah, a head headcan studio definitely did a heck of a job on this. It's an awesome game. They did a pretty darn good job with Origins, too. And that's it! We beat the game with Mighty. Took just... just a little bit over two hours. You know, I wanted to I wanted to hit just under the two hour mark, but hey, you know what? I'll take three minutes over. That's not too bad. Not too bad, at least for me. I'm sure there's people that run this game in like an hour, but for me, it's a pretty good time. Yeah, I just finished conflicts. Just finished. I just barely squeaked by on the last boss there. You know, it, <clears throat> if I didn't beat him when I did, I probably would have died, in all honesty. So, <sighs> good stuff. Again, always fun playing through this game. I enjoy Sonic Mania. It is for sure a masterpiece. Tomorrow I'll be back. I'm going to play the other mode where you kind of get to play as all the characters and do one more playthrough of Sonic Mania. And then I don't know, I might do a special stream Thursday and Friday for Last Epoch, which is the other game that I, I spend a lot of time. There's two, two things I play a lot of. I play a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog and I play a lot of Last Epoch. Um, I don't imagine most of the people here that uh, enjoy watching me play Sonic are probably going to find Last Epoch that enjoyable, but I don't know, maybe. If you like top-down RPGs like uh, Diablo 2, definitely feel free to check it out. Otherwise, I will be um, back Monday <clears throat> through Wednesday, probably doing another Sonic game. I don't know which one yet. I haven't decided. Um, I don't know if I want to go back and maybe revisit Sonic Sonic 4, a.k.a. Sonic the Portable. Um, <laughs> or maybe we'll start looking at some of the 3D Sonic games. Just to play through them again. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, again, thank you everybody that stopped by. Shattered, definitely appreciated seeing you. Itachi, thanks for stopping in. Storm Retro. Mr. Conflicts, and of course, Golsta. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope to see you again in the future. And thank you, everybody who is going to watch this later on Twitch and once I upload it on YouTube. And as always, take care. Have a good rest of your day. But for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.